Hello everyone, today we will be talking about the structure of graphene. So, graphene is a 2D structure and here you can see this is the structure of graphene and all the atoms are carbon atoms. Now, first if you want to know the crystal structure of graphene then the first thing you to know is does every carbon atom satisfy as a lattice point? Does it? So let's see. Consider this carbon atom and this carbon atom. And this is the distance between the carbon atom, carbon carbon bond distance. Now, if we look at on the other side, we will find no carbon atom. Similarly, considering this atom, on the other side, there is no carbon atom. Considering this atom, on the other side, there is no carbon atom. So, the nearest neighbor doesn't satisfy the lattice condition. Whereas, if we consider the alternate atoms, I mean the next nearest neighbor, then let's see what happens. At first, let me erase those. So, let us consider the next nearest neighbor. This is the distance and on the other side we can find another carbon atom. Similarly, if we consider another next nearest neighbor, we will find another carbon atom on the opposite side. Again, on the opposite side of this atom, we will find this atom. So what will be the unit cell of graphene? So let's make the unit cell of graphene from the lattice points. Considering the alternate alternate atoms, we can see this and this is the alternate atom, this is the alternate atom, and this is the alternate atom. So this rhombus shape is the unit cell of graphene. So this is the unit cell of graphene and A is the lattice distance. Now similarly this side, this side is B and B is equal to A you can see from its geometry and the angle the included angle of A and B is 120 degree. So this is the unit cell of graphene and this is D is the bond distance of carbon and carbon and carbon carbon bond distance which is D is equals to 1.424 angstrom and the lattice parameter A which is equals to 2D cos 30 degree we found it from the geometric relations and we can see that the lattice parameter is equals to 2.466 angstrom from the shape we can see that it is in this space group of 194 and here from the international tables for crystallography we can find all the symmetry values of this structure the space group of 194 we will talk about this in a different tutorial thank you everyone for watching see you soon